everyone and welcome back to another video. Excuse the state of me, I am not long a week and it's my day off from work and I have to start wrapping these advent boxes that I'm doing this year. That's my job for today. Try and get at least two of them done because it does take some time. And I just remembered, I usually film these videos and show you guys what I get for everyone in the advent boxes to give you guys idea for next year. Obviously this is going up after Christmas, so by the time you have seen it, everybody's opened their presents. I'm not giving anything away or spoiling anything for anyone. And I know that's not really useful to you, but it could be useful for next year for ideas and all that. So this year I am making five advent boxes. For the last couple of years, I think I've made four. I've made one for Ali, who was my OG advent box person that I gave to. I've been making one for my mum and Mark, her husband, for the last three or four years. And my brother Colin for the last two years. This is his third year for getting one. Him and his wife get one. I also made a subscriber one the last couple of years, but I'm not doing that this year because I have five to do this year. It's just too much. So this year I am doing my mum and Mark again, Colin and Emma, my brother again, but I'm also making one for my other two younger brothers as well and their partners. Mum and Mark, Colin and Emma, Stuart and Lizelle and Andrew and Stacey are all getting one and then obviously Ali as well. I've actually not finished Ali's yet, I'm finding it really hard to get his done, but I'm going to start by showing you what I've got everyone. There's a lot of similar stuff so I'll try and fire through it as quick as I can. I'm starting right now with my mum's and Mark's advent calendar. So on the first day of the advent calendar, I always get them some sort of advent calendar. I think one year I got them my mum a Lindor one and I got Mark a, a, a Haribo one or something like that. One year I got Mark the Thomas the Train, the mini trains and that. And I got my mum Lindor again because she loves that. And last year I got us the advent for change one. I got one for myself and I got them one. The advent, advent for Change or Advent of Change is a charity advent calendar. I'll link it down below. But this year, I am, you'll have seen these, probably I've shown you my one because I've got one for myself. These are the charity ones that I got them. I got them one of each. There was only really two designs that I actually liked, so I just got like three each. I'm giving my mum and Mark one each because I do spend a bit more money on them than the brothers and sister-in-laws and that. Yeah, so this is their ones. I've got the snowman one and the Christmas tree one. Another thing that I've got my mum, I can't really show you, but it's like a magnet. It's a nutcracker magnet. I'll try and maybe put a picture up on the screen. It's a nutcracker magnet thing. It's all different pieces and it goes on your fridge. I thought she's got a new fridge freezer in that at the minute. She's got a whole new kitchen this year, actually. In previous years, she wasn't able to because she had one of the fridge freezers that was in a cupboard, but now you have the freezer out so I thought oh I can get her that for her new kitchen. When I was younger my mum was a massive gizmo fan, gizmo from Gremlin so I've got her one of these little tree decorations. I think this is the one I've got or is it the one in the lights? Yeah I think this must be the one that I've got. There was a couple. I just got this from Amazon and I got a doormat. This is like the buffalo plaid style. It just says Merry Christmas on it. You can see it's got snowflakes. There's a little reindeer there. Got these at Tesco, Race and Roasties. Just a fun little novelty thing. These came in a packy too. I'll show you the other one. one my brothers will have the other flavour, but um, I just split them and my mum's getting the Brussels sprout ketchup. I think the other one's cranberry sauce ketchup or something. I just thought it was quite fun. You never know, it might actually taste quite good. I would try it. Um, I always get a little treat for the dog. The dog and the cat for my mum. If anybody has an animal, I'll get their dogs and cats a treat. Uh, so Archie's getting little doggy macarons from Tesco, you can see. This one is another Christmas tree ornament. I'm going to put a picture of my granny in that for my mum. I actually need to I'm going to put that there so I remember to do that. This one is a gonk spoon rest. I obviously got that from B&M. It was £2.50. My mum's right into gonks at the minute, so... Oh my god, I think this might be one of my favourite things that I've got. I don't know if you've been watch how long you guys have been watching, but I think the first year that I've done this for my mum and Mark, I got them a wooden spoon that said dinner, 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 Batman on it. And this year I've got them one that says exterminate because we're Doctor Who fans in our family. I've got one of my brothers this as well, he's a Doctor Who fan. But I thought that was quite funny and it will get used. I hope it gets used. I got these for Mark because we stayed there last weekend and he was saying that he isn't able to find them anywhere but I found them in my local Tesco so I got him a packet of the mint crumbles, he loves them. They're his little sweet treat. 
and these are for both of them or whoever will eat them. It's white jingle bells. These are my mum's little sweet treat and it's or chocolate orange snowballs. Treat for the cat, Marlon. Just some Felix things. What are these? Flavoured with chicken, living, liver and turkey and I honestly only got them because it had a Christmas tree background in that on it. There wasn't really a lot of selection for cats everywhere I went. In b and I also picked mum up these gonk tea towels. How cute is that? So I think it's a packy too. Yeah, it's a packy too. It's got this little cute one on the front and then the other one's just covered in gonks. And these were four pounds for two. So this is like the first thing that I actually got from my mum in Mark's advent. This year I got this way back, maybe around Easter time. It's these little tree decks and it's a, a naked granny and a naked grandpa because they're obviously grandparents. We've got like 20 odd million nieces and nephews. No, they're my nieces and nephews, they're grandkids. Keeping on the gonk theme, their festive mugs this year are gonks. They can choose what one they want. And um, they were £3.50 from BM. Actually, that's not too bad. I thought they were more than that. Always get them a tub of something like this, the Jacobs things this year. I've got them tree slits and all, all honesty, I can't remember what I've been buying them. I think the first year I maybe got them cheesy footballs. I can't remember what I've been buying since then. This is actually something that Ali chose. He's like, you should get this for granddad. So we did. And it's a bum face soap. I've got everybody a pack of these this year. Ali and I saw them. I think it was back in October we saw them and we picked ourselves up a packet because we were going to watch some, I can't remember, oh, Halloween movies or something it was. Anyway, Boxing Day Curry Coated Peanuts. They're flipping delicious, they're so nice. We were like, oh, we'll just try them just now and we ended up eating the whole packet before we even had our dinner. Um, so we didn't end up having our dinner till a little bit later. Again, on the gonk theme, because my mum's loving gonks, <laughs> I got them these chocolate gonks from M&S. They are so cute. And then this, I think I got these from Home Bargains. You might remember them. I might have shown them in the haul at the start of the year. It's definitely the beginning of the year I got them. And it's these little penguin candles. How flipping cute are they? Everybody's got one of them. I always get something to do with trains as well for their advent box. Um, because Mark loves trains and stuff like that. If you've been watching for a while, you'll know that. So this year I've got them this little decorated gingerbread train. It's so flipping cute and it has um, batteries in the back so it must be able to go or something. I never actually noticed that. I got this from Amazon. Just thought it'd be a cute little decoration for their mantelpiece or something. And that is 23 of their presents on day 24. I usually get everybody a Just Eat gift card but this year I actually think I'm just going to put the money into their bank account so for a takeaway because Christmas Eve is takeaway night. Yeah, so I'm going to get to wrapping these and numbering them. I've got all these number stickers. I'll actually link the link for these down below because this, this is like a six or ten pack of sheets. These stickers and they're all different designs. These are the ones I'm going to use for mum and Mark and it was actually pretty cheap for them so I'll link that down below as well. If I remember because this is so far in the future. Okay, mum's is done. That took about an hour and a half to wrap the box and wrap all the 20 three presents that were well 22 because the advent calendar came with an envelope and 24 is just a little card that I write to say that I'm putting money in their account. I'm now on a I think Colin and Emma's who's the brother that I've been doing this before. You can see my pile of boxes in the background. I always keep boxes around about Christmas time for obviously advent boxes and stuff like that. Anyway, let me go into there. So they've got this calendar between them, they've just got one between them because I don't spend as much on my brothers as I do my mum and Mark and that. There's just more of a budget style calendar. So they've got this one. They've also got a doormat in day number two. This was a two pack with my mum's one. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was £8 or £10 or something like that for two so it was quite cheap. They've got the cheddars with smoked paprika because I know Colin likes paprika flavoured things just like many of us. Their mugs are these ones with a C and an E for Colin and Emma and they were £3.50 from b and M. I got Colin a bottle of beer or Emma if she wants it but these are quite good. I think I've got them these before. I made stockings for my brothers a few years ago and just filled it up with bits and bobs. And uh, I'm sure I got them these as well. And these were like £2.50 or something from Tesco. They're quite good little ideas for stocking fillers or to pad out somebody's Christmas presents and that. They've got the spiced cranberry ketchup. They've also got a Brussels sprouts head toss game to play with the kids. 
I usually put a game on 20, day 23 because that's usually when people are sitting doing family nights and things like that. I got Emma some socks. These were just from Tesco, £4 for two. And it says every day in Brussels, little Brussels sprout. And the other one's just grey with little Brussels sprouts on it. And instead of socks for my brother, I got him boxers, candy cane boxers from ASOS. They've also got jingly bells, same as Mum and Mark. They've got one of these little cake sets, cookie sets. It's a melting snowman cookie set from b and I think it is. It's just because they've got quite a few little kids and they could do something with them. Don't know what day I'll put them on. Got my brother a spiced apple air freshener for his car. I also got them the exterminate spoon. Exterminate. Exterminate. Doctor Who spoon because my brother's a Doctor Who fan. They've also got the Boxing Day curry coated nuts. And I got my brother a long wrap, please, one sec. All my brothers have got football themed Christmas tree decorations. They all support different teams. And these were probably the most expensive things that I got them in their advent boxes. So this brother and his wife both support Celtic, so they've got Celtic ones. We've also got the little penguin candle that I got Mum and Mark. They've also got a dog. They've got Aria, so I've got her the macarons, or macarons, however you say it. Um, they've got little Maltese or reindeer each. I got a mint one and an original one. They can fight over who gets what one. I got them some warm apple and cinnamon wax melts. I forgot the name there. I got Emma a bath fizzer, it's a pig and blanket one this year. I think I got her the gingerbread or the turkey drummer or something last year. And then these hot chocolate bombs from Home Bargains, got them one of them each. And I also got them the snowflake marshmallow toppers. They'll go on different days, the two hot chocolate bombs will go one day and then the toppers the next day. And then I also got all my brothers. My mum and Mark already got this, I think, last year or the year before, but I got them all the toilet seat set, so they've got an elf one. Can't really see. Oh, it's right. Wait, there's the picture. That's what it looks like. I think it was last year I got my mum and Mark this. And I got all my brothers one this year. And they weren't very expensive at the beginning of the year from Amazon. I think they were like three or four pounds. So now it's time to get all hitch wrapped. And then I'll be done for the day. So I now have two full advent boxes wrapped and ready to go. Still got another three to do. Um, now I think I'm on to my brother Andrew and Stacey's. Theirs is slightly more different from the other two brothers. They're, I mean, they're all slightly different in one way or another, but um, I didn't get Andrew the boxers because he is really fussy about boxers and socks. So I didn't get him the funny Christmas themed boxers. They don't have any animals. Um, they got one of my kittens and sadly he passed away earlier in the year. So I have already wrapped the calendar. I can't remember what, I think they might have a snowman one, possibly. I don't know, I don't know what one they've got. This is their stickers that I've chose for them. And I've also, oh, I've not put number 24 on that. Let me do that now before I forget. I've also wrote a little card for day 24 with it. I'm going to put £15 into their account. Oh, so my mum and my brother Colin, because I've been making theirs for the last few years, I've got them something very similar to this. If you, I'll link last year's video down below. It was a sign of the snowman. It might have been the snowman in the snow dog. It was something like that. It said Christmas at the Innesses. And I got that from Studio Catalog, but I heard that Studio went into administration and that so I wasn't even bothered looking in on their website, looking in, looking at their website. So I asked Fiona, my very good friend Fiona from Our Crazy Life Scotland because she's right into crafty stuff and making things and that. I asked her if it's something that she would be able to do for the two brothers that don't have that sign because my mum has one as well. And she made me these. There was a lot of going back and forth with designs and things like this. It's aluminium. Um, I'm going to put some string in it so they can hang it up. But this is Andrew and Stacey's. It says Christmas at the Innesses. How flipping cute is that? I love it. Of course she knew to put a gingerbread man on it. I love it so much. It is so well made. I love it so much. Our mum also made at the same time the um, little baskets that you would have seen for the kids. I'll have shown you them already for their North Pole breakfast. 
Um, from ASOS, when I was buying all the boxers and that for the other folk, I got my, well, I got myself one of these. You've probably seen these already, but I also got my sister-in-law a set of these as well. Um, and I got, I could only get two. I wanted to get everybody the same one, but I could only get two. And I really wanted them for myself because I hello, they're gingerbread men. So I decided to give them to Stacey because she really likes coming in for her work and getting really cosy, getting into like fleecy jammies, her blanket and everything. So I thought these would suit Stacey a lot more than they'd probably suit Emma or Lizelle or that. Although Emma really does like getting cosy in that and every woman likes getting cosy in that as well. Um, I got them some toilet roll because I've not made them one of these before and you always have to get a festive loo roll. This was just from Tesco's and it's got cracker jokes on it. I also got him one of these spiced apple car fresheners because he does drive and have a car. He's got the Brussels sprout ketchup because I know Ale Andrew loves Brussels sprouts so I know he'd probably at least try that. I also got them one of these music quiz games, the 80s and 90s ones, because they were born in the 80s and grew up in the 90s. Um, and Andrew and Stacey do like games with the boys and that, so I thought they'd probably prefer another little game. They've got tree slips. Stacey's also got a bath fizzer. Um, oh, this is, what's this instead? Of? The Doctor Who spoon. So I've got my mum and Colin the Doctor Who spoon because they're Doctor Who fans. Andrew and Stacey and Stuart and Lizelle, not really big Doctor Who fans, so I've got them little snow globes. And this actually suits them so much more because Stacey collects snow globes, honestly. She must have about 150 snow globes in total and she takes all her normal ones away and puts all her Christmas ones out like she's crazy about snow globes. So this is, this is, all, this is just from Card Factory. So I hope she's not got it. It's just a little Rudolph. It says Merry and Bright. I know she's got the set that were out a few years ago, but I don't think she's got that one. I hope she's not got that one. I got her the mulled wine wax melts. And they've got the little penguin candle. The hot chocolate bombs and the snowflake poppers. And all the snacks. The jingly bells. The curry coated peanuts, the Maltesers, reindeer, I keep going to say bunny. And instead of the boxes, I've got Andrew a packet of Reese's um, because he loves Reese's and they'll know they're for him. They've also got racing pigs and blankets. I can't remember where I got these, was it? I'm sure I put them in a haul at the start of the year. Was it New Look? Was it Home Bargains? It was somewhere at the start of the year. I did get these. These were one of the first things I bought. Racing pigs and blankets. Um, I got them a snowman. You can't see it at all. There's not even a picture, but it's a snowman set for their toilet. And I got Andrew a Christmas ale, same as the other ones. And these are their mugs. Again from B&M, £3.50, yeah it's £3.50, hot chocolate and chill and ho 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 and fa la la. I was going to say oh 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 and al al ah there. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got, you'll have seen this because I can't see it. These are his Christmas tree decorations because he's a Chelsea fan. Right. Now you get this wrapped and hopefully I'll be back in about an hour with Stuart. It won't be an hour for you, obviously, it'll be an hour for me. I am flying through the wrapping with these. I think I'm becoming pro at doing these advent boxes now in the fifth or sixth year of doing them. Okay, I'm now on to Stuart and Lizelle's and I'm not going to go through everything because it really is just the same as the other two brothers as well. Just a few things slightly different. So their toilet seat cover is a Santa one. I wanted them to all have different ones. So they've got a Santa one. They've actually got two toilets like I have. So they'll have to decide what bathroom is going to be decorated <laughs> for Christmas. Because I'm not buying them two. Um, they've also got these mugs. And I've just noticed that the bloody snowman has a bit out of his nose. I'm going to have to take that back. I'm needing a little box for their things anyway. Everybody else's is wrapped, I'm just needing a little box. Oh, that's so flipping frustrating. Look at his little carrot and all I've got to replace that. But they were also from B&M and they were also £3.50. Put them to the side. Oh, that's so annoying. What else is different? Um, oh, they've also got one of the signs from Fiona because they have, this is their first year they're getting an advent box. My mum and Colin both have the doormats 
because they're not getting the signs. And this says Christmas at the Innes Mellors because they're actually not married. They are engaged, they've been engaged for years, but they have too many kids to be able to get married. So there's, there's this one. I love it. I love the little reindeer bit at the top. Lizelle socks, she's got these <laughs> avocado ones that say let's get smashed. <laughs> And then the other ones are just little avocados with Santa hats, which I love. Oh, Stuart's decorations also different. So he's a Man U fan, so I got him a Man U tree decoration. <laughs> Dear Santa, all I want is for Manchester United to win the league. It's not going to happen this year, but you never know. You never know. We've got these cakes, Christmas tree cupcake, because I want to try and get them similar stuff, but also different as well. Oh, Stuart's boxers are different as well. Let me show you these. Ali thinks it's a little bit weird that I've got them boxers and now I'm beginning to second guess myself but hey, I've bought them, they're getting them. Collins are wrapped, Stuart's are about to be wrapped. These are Stuart's ones, little festive pigs. <laughs> like the one tangled in the Christmas tree one. I thought there'd be like ones wrapped in bacon because you know, pigs wrapped in bacon. Uh, what do you call them? Pigs and blankets or Kelly sausages we call them but you know I can't get them back in. And I think that's the only thing that are really different. Everything else is just the same as everybody else's. Okay, we are now on the Ali's advent box. Now, <laughs> Ali's is always the hardest one for me to do because he's had it for so many years now. And he's a fucking 15 year old boy. He's hard to buy things like little I was going to say snacky things for but basically most of the stuff is going to be food for him because he, I don't know, boys just aren't like little trinket things and all that are they? I don't know if I've got everything yet, I'm going to have to start wrapping and get it all done because I, when I buy Ali's stuff I just have to quickly hide it away so he doesn't find it. Right so his calendar this year is a Ferrero Roche one. He has decided that Ferrero Roche is one of his favourite chocolates now, as well as Lindor and Hotel Chocolat and Chocolate Orange. But Ferrero Roche is loving a lot at the minute. This is something that I'm not going to give him as his advent box, but I had to buy it when I seen it. It's a little elf, but it's a Chelsea elf, and Ali's massive, massive Chelsea fan. So I had to buy that when I saw it. I can't remember how much it was, but I might actually put it in his advent box. I might just put it, put some chocolates in the box with it. So I also got on this for his advent box because it's classed as a Christmas decoration and he does put a tree up and all that in his room. It's a little gnome that he can put on his window ledge. How cute is that? A little Chelsea gnome. Oh God, and since we're on the Chelsea theme, I got him a pack of the same baubles that I got my brother Andrew because it's also a Chelsea fan. Although I think these are like practically the same size as the tree he puts up in his room. They might be quite weighty, but we'll make it work. He's, I think he, I'm sure I got him heart baubles a couple of years ago and they're quite big as well, but they work. A couple of things I've arranged to arrive, like a delivery, treat delivery, um, which you know I've done in previous years, is donuts, Christmas themed donuts from I can't remember if it was Donut Time or Project Donut. I follow both of them on Instagram. I've been following them for years, so I think I got it's just two Christmas donuts that are actually going to be delivered, not a whole tray set, which is what I had to get another the past years. Um, but that's just enough for him. And another thing is a cake card. I actually saw this on Groupon. It was a Groupon that I got. So it's like a, you can send someone a Christmas card, but inside the card there's also two slices of cake. And because it's Ali, I ordered a Nutella flavoured cake slice and a Biscoff flavoured cake slice. And they had a Lotus Biscoff freak shake thing, which Ali has had these before. I think I got them a Nutella one once, the last time it was. And, and I think the other one was just like a multicoloured one, I don't know. But this is the Biscoff one. It was £4, as you can see. I also picked up this chocolate chilli challenge. I thought it might like, that's just something random and fun. And I also got on Kinder, because he loves Kinder as well. And these are little, it's got the filling in it, the Kinder filling in it, snowmen. Also got on standard lint. But these are the crispy bite ones. I don't know, I don't think he's had these. I also got a snowman hot chocolate bomb from B&M. That was £2 from B&M. And it's a white chocolate one. But I've also, I didn't, 
forgot that I'd got them. Then got um, the snowman and the snow dog hot chocolate foam and the snowman marshmallow toppers from, oh these were just at Scott Mid, at my local Scott Mid so I picked them up these, I think they were only a pound or one pound twenty or something like that each. I picked up these a little while ago and I'm uh, a wee bit annoyed with them, it's festive Oreos but they're only vanilla flavour, they've just changed the colours, they're red, green and white inside but they're all vanilla. But I got them on for the dad drink box because Ellie loves his Oreos but he'll be a bit disappointed that they're not different flavours. I know he will because one of the things that Ali wants to he literally just wants to go to America to buy up shit honey Oreos, all the different flavours that you can get in America. And the last thing that I think I've got them at the minute is just Christmas PG bottoms. These were from Asda, they were £12.50. Yeah, £12.50. Um, yeah, and I think that's but I think that is all I've got them so far. It doesn't feel like a lot, does it? Anyway, if I do get them anything else, you'll have probably seen it in Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.